Die, the French. Hello. This is another me eating snacks until I get sick episode. This time, I'll be sampling the cuisine of France. So I have uh, here a letter from a fellow by the name of Retro Stew. And you can see there's Mario and Luigi at the bottom there. And they're reading mail. And, uh, dear Mario, what do your feet smell like? Okay, well, actually, this is just a list of the things. And um, it explains what they are, which is good. Um, so, yeah, it's just a big bag of French things, and uh, I want to find out what this stuff is. Some of it I have eaten already. Uh, <laughs> like Karambar minis. These are like little taffies, as you can see. They are taffy-esque, and they are delicious. So I have had... This one's uh, caramel. And then there's cola, which I don't like very much. There was a lemon one. It's all pretty good stuff, but to me, the, uh, the best one was the caramel. Tooth glue. Really good. And it says here, famous French caramel candy, especially for the really bad jokes written in each wrapping paper. Blagues Carambar is a common expression for unfunny joke. I don't think I'm saying that right. It's black waves, I think. So yeah, these, these are great. I've had a couple of these already, and they absolutely deliver. So, um, going to the complete other side of life, we have Belen Menitsa. And I already, I already hate the way this looks so very much. It's like a mini pizza cracker. It says here, you won't taste the difference with a real pizza. Hmm. I'm sure I won't. That's as insulting to an Italian New Yorker as me saying Blagwes was to a French person. So here we go. We're gonna try one. Hopefully only one. I mean, it's a little dark, but you can kind of see it. I need more than one. Alright, so um, it succeeds in tasting like a pizza, kind of. But that pizza being the most like, inexpensive frozen pizza you can find. It's not terrible. The texture is really good. This is like a plus five for texture, and the taste is like a minus three because it's not even, like, real pizza. But what do you... What do you mean real pizza? What do I mean real pizza? Because, like, trying to put a pizza flavor on a cracker is just bizarre. So, yeah, I mean... It's fine. It's not as bad as I was expecting. Okay. Crepe Dantelle. Thin and crispy cookies usually eaten with ice cream. I'm starting to think I don't need to read the list for every single thing I eat. But, let's try it. Crepe Dantelle. Alright, so, um, here's what it looks like. Sorry, it's so dark. But, here we go. Really good. It's basically Nutella. It's like a hazelnut, light, flaky, um, crispy shell. And the inside is hazelnut. It's, it's actually really good. I can see why people eat these with ice cream. I'm very impressed by that. It looks like we have some chips now. Brett's. And there's a spicy pepper on it. So, uh-oh. Piment de espelette. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry for my pronunciations. But here we go. What the hell is this? <clears throat> this is so weird. 
It's like a mix of cake and spicy. That is a weird taste. Not a great smell. Pretty good taste though. Little spicy, not too spicy, but also almost dessert tasting. Like, I don't know what that's supposed to be exactly, but... Really strange, really strange snack, but pretty good. Herbs de Provence. Herbs de Provence. This I won't be able to really taste unless I put it on something. So before I find out what this is exactly, I mean, it looks like some thyme is in here. You know, the usual stuff. I'm going to put it on a chip and find out. Just a tiny bit. That most certainly did not help. I don't know what that is exactly, but again, I taste a lot of thyme. It's just some kind of spice mix, and it's pretty okay. Um, not to go on a potato chip, but... You know, it didn't ruin it. <clears throat> these, uh, I will confess, I ate many of these. Because they are delicious. Um, I maybe saved 75% of this stuff for now. But when I saw this, I was like, I need to try this, because this is... I love this shit. Nougat de... Monte Lamar. This is like, um... Oh, God. It... It's hard to explain, but it's, it's, it's white, and it's got some, like, nuts in it. And it's, um, flaky. Not flaky. It's, like, soft. It's good. It's really good. There's, like, a specific Italian thing I'm thinking of, but I can't remember the name that this tastes like and it's it's amazing so yeah i mean it's empty now that was <laughs> that was the last one i saved for the video here's something it's in a bag um it is klaus veritables caramels i'll <laughs> i'm just gonna stop trying to pronounce it here take a look It's the, there's a guy, he's blowing a horn. I like caramels. I'm afraid I'm really gonna like these. It's another one of those Vinny uh, Gets Diabetes episodes. You, you really need to stop sending me snacks, everybody. Please. It was incredible. Oh my god. It says here, a regional caramel candy flavored with Sauvignon wine. It's like a local wine. It's it's unbelievably good. Oh, man. Uh, Klaus. I'm just upset because it's so delicious and I have a sweet tooth and I'm approaching 40. Klaus. <laughs> Light surfing. So just a little light surfing. The waves aren't, aren't too high. We're just going to do a little bit of surfing. So it's like a flaky chocolate. Wow. Klaus is making the good shit. In incredible. Absolutely incredible chocolate. Local chocolate, I recommend putting it in the fridge before tasting. It didn't melt. I live near Switzerland, so the chocolate is supposed to be good here. Oh, it's not just good. It's insane. I love chocolate. Okay, this this one is a bit of a problem. Um, Pan de Pesci's? <laughs> it's probably not Pan de Pesci's, but it's hard. It says here on the back, 51222, that's my birthday, to 51223, also my birthday. Unfortunately, this possibly expired five months ago. Let us see, maybe there's some kind of literature here. Cake flavored with treacle and ginger, sometimes used to eat with foie gras. Well, it seems hard and expired, so I'm not, 
I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not sure about this one. Ugh. Yeah, it's it's really hard. I just took a little little bite. It's like gingerbread. It's very gingerbread. Um, this would be good if it wasn't expired. I probably won't die from this. So you don't have to say, what must I do? It should be okay. I can see this being absolutely delicious, though. It's just a shame it's um, that far out of date. Oh, well. Oh, okay, this is weird. We got an Animal Crossing New Horizons book from France. Non-official. I work at a part-time freelance PAO designer for Omake Books, a French publishing house specialized in video games and created by Florent Gorges, Nintendo historian and Japanese interpreter. I made several books for them, so I added a small Animal Crossing one in the package. Sorry, I realize there's not a single scoot in this book. Sorry, scoot. I was going to look, too. I mean, it's a cool little book. It's got some advice and, I guess, things that you could do and stuff. I mean, I can't read it. <laughs> I can't read it at all. Oh, look, I found a granny. Not as cool as Wrinkly Kong. Note the word I used there, the choice of word. Very intentional, but, but still pretty cool. Thank you for this book that I cannot read. It's fine. La Mascotte. I've got La Mascotte. Official Olympics mascot for Paris 2024. Gormless and kind of like a certain feminine body part. I would not have even thought that had you not said anything, but... A little bit. Ah, the French! It's a little variety pack of jams. Assortment of four jams. Strawberry, peach, or maybe apricot. Um, fig, and orange. So, if I find a cracker worthy of dipping in these, and not the pizza ones, then I will consider trying them out, so... Let's keep moving. Tetes Brulis Paint Billies. Tetes Brulis Paint Billies. I mean, look at this dude's face. What, what happened to him? I, I'm gonna go in blind for this one, but they have, like, little warning. There's like warning paper. If this is gonna be like really spicy, I'm gonna spit it out. No spicy! No. So small a thing. Hmm. <laughs> mmm. It says. Oh, Pika de Max. Un Max. Ah. Whoa! Oh. It's like a warhead, but I thought they got rid of this specific type of thing because it was causing damage to people's mouths. <sighs> okay, it's good after like 20 seconds or so, 30 seconds, because then you get rid of the weird ammonia thing or whatever's going on. And um, yeah, it is very much like a warhead and it's actually delicious after a little while. I wouldn't say spicy, just really, really sour. Tete brule means risk taker. Yeah, I mean, well, I took the risk. Pastilles du Basin de Vici. And it looks like... Honestly, it kind of looks like, um... Breath mints? Do I go in blind here? Let's see. They're breath mints. They're good. Famous French candy made from Vichy water extracts. Yeah, they're just they're just good. And that wasn't because I didn't like it. That was because <laughs> that was because I'm eating so much candy right now, I'm starting to feel the sugar rush. Okay. Maybe we should wash this down with a little bit of um Chocolate milk? Okay, now this was in my P.O. box and in transit for a while, so I don't know if this went bad. So, 
wish me luck, but there's a little cow. It's a, a kakolak. Kakolak. Wait, am I gonna shit from this? That sounds like a laxative. Um. Kind of metallic tasting. <laughs> I don't know if chocolate milk is supposed to taste metallic. Chocolate milk beverage created in 1954. Vintage stuff and quite uncommon now. This can seems to be a special edition with a funny cow on it. It tastes better than it smells. The collector's edition. See the funny cow? That, that is the last thing you see before you die from drinking expired milk. I don't think there's actually milk in there, but who knows. Calisans de Ikes. <laughs> I can't pronounce any of this shit. The packaging, plus two points for the packaging, is really good. Traditional French candy consisting of a smooth paste of candied fruit, ground almonds, and a thin layer of icing. Calorie consumption through the roof. Okay. Great presentation. Really good. I mean, the French know how to make a nice presentation. Okay. So the ground up fruit reminds me a little bit of like fig flavor. Um, it's a little, it's a little earthy. Which is code word for it tastes like poop. I'm lying. It's good. Yeah, I can see the calories being crazy, but it's 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 good. It's different. The thin layer of icing is really good. I mean, all of this stuff has been varying levels of 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 good, at least good. Nothing has outright been bad by any means. I mean, even the chocolate milk, which I was a little bit worried about, it's still good. I can taste the potential. Dijon mustard. It says here, Reine de Dijon. Moutard. That's what it says. M O U T A R D E. Um. Wow, that smells. Whoa, that's strong. Guess I get to be fancy. I'm gonna dip a chip in it because I am not gonna have this on its own. We'll just try a little bit. Okay, here we go. It just so happens I really like mustard. And this is incredible. Wow. And it actually enhanced the chip. I think I found a forbidden combination. I'm sorry, blessed, or whatever you want to call it. it it's really fucking good. When you eat Dijon mustard, you feel rich. In calories. For just a bit. Just a moment. Traditional mustard from the city of Dijon, very famous. This one is honey flavored. It's incredible. Biliote. Okay, uh, smells... I'm going in blind for this one. Um... Bourgogne... <laughs> Fran French Comte? Artisanal crackers flavored with Comte, regional cheese. Okay, they're just cheesy crackers. They're pretty good. Definitely have a musk to them, but in a good way. Um, I wouldn't want to dip those in the jam, but still, quite delicious. <clears throat> now listen, there's also, for some reason, there's a record in here. And it's Les Dances de Papa. <laughs> I love this guy. Man, I'll see if I can find some of this and play it. But yeah, some some good stuff. Um, I'm gonna have to investigate because that cover is just perfect. And also, Claude Fran Francois, La Telephone Clure. Allô? Écoute, maman est près de toi. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is he? Who's he calling? Hello? Why does? Why is this album Hello? focused on on the phone? Hello? 
That's amazing. I mean, there's a whole selection on the back, including Disco Rock Party. Uh-oh, there's, there's one here, but it's stuck. Ah, uh, here we go. Yvette Horner, Accordion Hit Parade, Volume 1. There she is. The famous, the one and only. Also, it, apparently she has a cover of Les Telephone Pleur. It's half expecting this guy to also have a cover of that. Interesting. Great records. Really, really great. They will make a fine addition to my collection. I tried to find the most cursed vinyls at my local record store. Local vintage store. I think I surpassed myself with this one. Also, there is a Cloud Francois disc, too, because the French singer icon... It was a French singer icon in the 80s. This will be... Hang on, I just want to get a good shot of this for Johnny. There you go. Yeah, you did outdo yourself. Looks like there's a green beret in here, too. Made in France. An actual beret? <laughs> I can't... I can't get it on over the, the headphones. So... This is... I'm sorry to say this is as good as I can do. Do I have to, like, puff it? I don't know if I have to puff it or what, but it is... Fashion icon. Really, I'm just... I, I'm just so thrilled. Here's a, a book. The Adventures of Asterisk or something. First volume, quite vintage and classic, still a very popular comic book in France. I feel like I've seen this before. Like, th these fellows. Maybe they were in the newspaper or something, but... Johnny, do not... Do not have me in the beret on the thumbnail. Please. Please. Whatever you do, Johnny. Whatever you do. He's gonna do it, isn't he? This book has a very interesting smell to it. It smells old. Either that or it's just a weird paper stock. 1961. Wow. I will take good care of this. Thank you. <laughs> okay, for some reason, there's also a PlayStation game in here. Paris Marseille Racing. Thanks. Sorry, I have zero French pronunciation skills whatsoever. But, uh, yeah, it is a, a racing game on the PS1 I've never heard of. The junk collection grows. We've got... Cachao... Lejeune? <laughs> Lejeune? Cachao Lejeune? I don't know... I'm sorry, I don't know how to say these things. Um, they're in little tins. I'm assuming they're breath mints? Or shoe polish? I'm not sure which one. Oh, no! Oh, no, it's cursed! It's like little black pellets. Can't really see them, but one just fell out. Oh my god, this is this is bad. I don't want to I don't want to eat this. Please tell me this is shoe polish. Little black square pastilles, licorice and mentholy created in the 19th century by a French pharmacist, very special and tasty. May or may not have a laxative effect as well if you eat the whole tin box. I was really hoping it would be shoe polish, so I wouldn't have to eat this. I hate licorice. Yeah, very tasty. No, that... Mm -mm. Nope. Not for me, dog. Not for me. That is a stinky aftertaste. I'll save them for when Joel is next in New York. Maybe he'll like them. Le Grandias Fleur de Sale. Grande. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Is this like baking soda? What the fuck is this? I don't want to just eat this and then I find out it's like going to kill me. It's a condiment. Okay, hang on. In France, and I don't know why, salt can be pretty sophisticated. Use it with moderation. Oh, it's just salt. 
Salt. Oh, okay. Uh, there's a can. This is a can. Creme de Marins de Ardeci. Creme de Ardeci. All right. I don't like the way that looks. I mean, again, you can't really see it, but it's just like a brown, liquidy, weird-smelling thing. I don't... I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't want it. Chestnut spread. Oh. Okay, so it's chestnut spread. At the very least, it's not asshole spread. Chestnut cream can be eaten as is or used in baking. Pretty uncommon outside France, I think. Made from fresh, sweet chestnuts, cooked and reduced to a puree with sugar, syrup, and vanilla. Pretty good, but again, lots of sugar. Uh-oh. Uh, mistakes were made. Okay, and finally... Anus. Less anus de flavigny. Asshole spread? Anus. Aniseed sweet. Some like it, some don't. It's... That doesn't help me. That doesn't help me. It's like, it looks like it's a pack of cards, like a pack of small cards. That's very weird. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh. I know this flavor. I think it's Anazette in, in Italian, like, you know, that's what I heard growing up, Anazette. I, I could be wrong, maybe. Yeah, the, the anus seed. I don't particularly care for this, but I've had cookies with a little mild version of this flavor, and they're pretty good. So, I mean, I wouldn't want this just as it is, because it's fucking weird and it's too intense. But, um, I'd rather this over licorice. This, it just feels like an, it's an acquired taste. All right, uh, so yeah, the only thing left is, uh, the jams. I'll try one. I'm gonna try the strawberry jam. And, uh, I don't have a cracker to go with this, so... I'm just gonna... just gonna try it. Oh, that's good. Oh, man. That is a delicious jam. And that is exactly what I need to wipe the anus out of my mouth. Thank you for watching, everybody. The French sure know food. Ah, the French champagne. He's always been celebrated for his excellence. There is a California champagne by Paul Masson, inspired by that same French excellence. It's fermented the bottle and like the best French champagne. It's vintage tinted. So for my son. One and two take three. Action please. Ah, the French.